The interactive nouns tool is simple and easy to use in the classroom and will help newly arrived pupils for whom English is an additional language settle into their new school. Teachers and children can hear eight different categories of common nouns spoken in their own language at the click of a button. It provides an effective method for teachers to communicate with EAL pupils in their own language, as well as being a powerful tool for teaching basic English through the included speaking and listening activities. The interactive tool is a PowerPoint file, and once it is saved to your computer, can be opened by double-clicking its name or icon, and then clicking on the blue arrow of the title page. We will find out how to navigate the interactive tool. Navigating is kept straightforward. Simply choose the category you want and click on its button. You will notice that all of the categories appear in English and Polish, and either button will take you straight away to the word group that you want to use. To go to colors, click on the English or Polish word. You are then presented with the main screen for colors. To navigate back to the main menu, click on the picture of the house at the bottom of the screen. This picture will always take you to the main menu. This time we are going to navigate to animals, and we are going to use the Polish button to do so. Now let's say that we wanted to go to the shapes section. It is not necessary to go back to the main page. All of the navigation buttons are also at the bottom of the screen in both languages. Let's click. We are taken straight away to the shape section. Each section has a set of supporting printable resources. To access these, click on the box with the white tick in the green circle, like this. A new screen appears with three items to choose from. Activities, wall cards, flash cards. We will look at how to use these later. To return to the shape section, click on the blue arrow. Finally, if you want to close down the resources at any time, simply click on the red button at the bottom right. So now we know how to navigate from any point within the resources, let's find out how to use them. Let's say you were teaching a maths lesson about 2D shapes. As part of the warm-up, you might want to revise shape names with the whole class. Clicking on the Shapes button in the second language will open up the Shapes section. Hearing the word shapes in their own language, as well as seeing the pictures on screen, will really help to give context and meaning. Each shape has two labels, the English label above and the Polish label below. To hear either word, click and listen. Even advanced bilingual learners appreciate hearing their own language being used at school. To support the teaching done on screen, you can go to the printable resources section by clicking on the tick at the bottom. Flashcards and wall cards are printable versions of the on-screen words and pictures. Wall cards are big enough to display on the wall, while the flashcards are smaller. We are going to open up the activities printable resource. Do this by clicking on the PDF icon on screen. Provided you have Adobe Acrobat Reader installed, it will open automatically. This document contains instructions for making a picture dictionary, as well as all the words and pictures needed. It also contains instructions for a collaborative sorting game, which requires that the children work together and use the interactive nouns tool. You can print this by clicking on File and Print from within the PDF document. To return to the interactive nouns tool, close down the PDF file. You can then return to the shape section by clicking on the blue arrow. We have learned how to navigate from any point within the interactive nouns tool, how to use the spoken out loud vocabulary, and how to print the activities. 
Thank you for watching this Little Learner training video. 